Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 105th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 45th episode of Season 2 titled Return of the Green Ranger, Part 2. We begin this episode back in the 1700s where there's still a witch hunt being conducted for the Rangers. In the barn, the girl reveals her name is Marissa and she introduces herself to everyone. Billy explains that they're being accused of being witches because they're different. And surprise, they haven't tried to sell Aisha yet. Jesus Christ. They say they can explain everything to Marissa. Anyway, Tommy and Tommy are arguing with one another about actually pretty much nothing. On the moon, Rita comes up and Zed tells her that the Green Ranger won't fight fair. There's no mention of how the others are technically dead in the present time, but all right. Zed is so happy, he starts to just dance with Rita for absolutely no reason. In the barn, we cut back with Billy saying, basically that's everything. The hell did he just say? Marissa wants to know what Angel Grove is like in the future, and basically, the Rangers are screwed. They can't get in touch with Alpha or Zordon for obvious reasons. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull are spooning together asleep in the park, and they wake up, freaked out because they remember a wizard that had a lizard face. So, wait. That thing that Rocky said wasn't wrong? That's supposed to be a lizard face? Tommy and Tommy keep talking while Alpha looks on the viewing globe to see the two Tommies in front of each other, but neither one is looking at each other. Masking be damned. Alpha also can't find the other rangers at all. The wizard shows up and the two Tommies morph, becoming the white and green rangers. Yes, this is what I came for. There's a fight that's not amazing, but it's made better by it being white versus green before green goes to the wizard's side. In the past, two soldiers are creeping around the corner while the teens inside try to contact Alpha and Zordon. Then Skull, as a soldier, shows up, claiming that Marissa is going to get punished for this. Back to our White Ranger versus Green Ranger fight. Glad we're not pretending to care about the others too much. The wizard then says, this is getting boring, so he zaps good Tommy, making him demorph. He then tells the Green Ranger to use the Dragon Dagger to call out the Dragon Zord, and then he gives him a power coin, like he could have morphed at all in the first place without it. Billy decides it's time to explain everything to these soldiers. Then in the command center, the evil Green Ranger shows up, using footage from literally episode 18 of this show. Zordon demands answers, but the evil ranger isn't giving them. Meanwhile, Zed and Rita are still dancing. Then, Zed suggests that after the white ranger is dead, they should have a baby. And this freaks out Rita, understandably. She then runs to Fencer, telling him that the potion is working a little too well. She needs a potion to make Zed forget about the baby idea. And Fencer says, oh, that sounds charming and Rita yells at him until he starts making another potion. I love Finster. In the past, Kim says, I don't think they bought your story, and they all run away with Marissa while the soldiers follow. This scene goes on for like four solid minutes because it's clear that they've run out of content for this episode. Then a horse-drawn carriage is going down a dirt path, and Marissa says that they have to get in because it's her Uncle Ben's. Turns out, Uncle Ben is bulk. Also, Billy is just being a damn man-spreader, so Rocky can't sit. In the command center, the Green Ranger talks trash to Zordon, and he says that history is repeating itself wherever the other rangers are, but then he leaves. Alpha and Zordon realize that this means that they've been sent back in time. Obviously. So Alpha starts searching for them by starting at the present day and working backward. I mean, chances are they aren't being sent back to like yesterday, so... By a pond, the wizard laughs for no reason while the Green Ranger decides that he should call out the Dragon Zord. In the past, the Ranger teens and Marissa are at Uncle Ben's cabin. Aisha complains that Rocky's foot is tickling her back, and then she freaks out because it's actually a rat. Then the wizard is just there, standing on something in the front yard. Did no one notice him, or...? He decides that since she hates rats, he's going to make horrible looking giant rat monsters. They attempt to morph, but they can't do it because they don't have their powers. Yet they have their communicators. Whatever, they run away with the townspeople while the wizard just starts making stuff explode for absolutely no reason. In the present, the Green Ranger calls out the Dragon Zord, which begins to rise from the depths and splashes construction workers on the pier. On the moon, Zed talks about how the Power Rangers are finally history. To be continued. Honestly, this isn't the worst part two we've ever had, and honestly, at this point, I'll kind of take it. I was expecting it to be so much worse than what it was. Seeing the Green Ranger and the White Ranger fight is pretty cool, and the use of the Dragon Zord makes me realize that the Dragon Zord was never destroyed or anything. 
the parts in the past aren't anything to write home about, but to be honest, they really could have been worse. You know what is worse? Those giant rat monsters. Yeah, those were the original monsters meant to be used in the movie. You can see why they cut them out and replace them with something else instead because they look cheap as hell and absolutely terrible. Other than that, I actually really enjoyed this episode. It's kind of surprising. How will this three-parter end? Until next time, may the power protect you.